Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This scenario consists of a few rides in a small abandoned mine and has a trivially easy goal of getting 1000 park value and paying back your loan of just 1000 bucks. However, while it may seem easy, this scenario will take you over 100 million years to complete. Even if you started all the way back when the big meteorite killed off all the dinosaurs, you would only be about two thirds of the way to the goal right now. How is this possible? Just like in the 55,000 year scenario from last week, you start out with a debt of a little over 214 million euros, so we need to make a lot of money before we can pay back the loan. Unlike last time though, there seems to be nothing wrong with this park. There are no trapped guests, the park rating is good, there are hundreds of guests in the park and the people are going on rides. In the previous scenario we made money via the park entrance, but in this one you charge for the rides instead of for the entrance, so let's take a look at the rides. They all seem to be operating perfectly fine, but that's not actually the case. There are currently some guests on the merry-go-round and the topspin, but their queue lines aren't actually connected to the entrance buildings. With this massive debt, we can't afford to build any new path, so no more guests will be able to ride these rides until we get out of debt. This only leaves the mysterious classic mini coaster, which goes into one side of the hall and comes back out of the other side. So, what's hiding underground? That's right, it's a massive roller coaster that takes up the entire rest of the map. Not just that, but it also only has a single car that can carry just two guests. After departure, the car quickly slows down to 1 km per hour and then has to travel the entire spiral at that minimum speed until it reaches the middle. There it goes up 2 units and then does another outward spiral at the same speed. Once that's done, it goes up another level and has a little bit more track to travel until it finally reaches the second station after about 200 in-game years where the guests can disembark. The train departs this station, doesn't make it over the hill and is now forced to go backwards back to the first station. The neat thing is that the minimum backward speed is 8 times slower than the minimum forward speed, so the return journey is going to take 8 times as long. After 1820 in-game years, 6 months and 4 days, the car finally returns to the boarding station and new guests can get on. With 2 guests per journey, this coaster can process 1 guest every 910 years, which is a lot less than the 6 guests per year we got in the previous scenario. But hang on, I think there is a way to make this much quicker. What if we let the guests board and depart, then quickly double close the ride to have them get off again and then just reopen the ride for new guests? This way the ride could process potentially hundreds of guests per year instead of just one guest per hundreds of years. And yes, that does work on this coaster, but this isn't actually the roller coaster in this scenario. I fooled you all as the true one looks like this with an extra station and some track in between the other two stations. If you double close the ride and reopen it, the train respawns at this third station and congratulations, you have just killed your run. Guests cannot reach this station, so the train has to depart empty. It goes down two 180 degree helixes and fails to make it up the next one, trapping the train on this bit of track forever. You could remove that bit of track, but as long as you're in debt, you won't be able to afford to rebuild it. If the train had guests on it, it would make it past the upward helix because it would have more speed left and that's how I got the train past it in the creation of this scenario. After that I simply removed the queue line so that guests cannot board on that station ever again. So you're stuck with a roller coaster that can only process 2 guests every 1820 in-game years. The question now is, how much can we charge for this coaster? Well, it's not very much, as it has extremely low stats with 0.30 excitement, 0.63 intensity and 0.51 nausea. It has these low stats because it manages to fill all 3 stat requirements that the classic mini coaster has, resulting in its stats being divided by 8. The one for maximum speed is 25 km per hour and this one only goes 24. The other ones are for the number of drops and the maximum drop height and with a grand total of zero drops it's clear that this coaster fails both. Wait, zero drops? But 
I can see some right there. Yes, but those are after an exit only station and since gas will never be on the right after such a station, any drops or inversions or whatever aren't counted. These incredibly low stats combined with the age of the ride which leaves it in the final age bracket allow you to charge only 20 cents per ticket. With 2 guests per ride this is 40 cents for every time the train goes around. The ride duration of 1820 years allows us to determine that this is an average income of just 0.022 cents per year which is about what I make for my OnlyFans. But what about the expenses? Surely any expenses will be higher than the income. Yes that's true, which is why there are no expenses in this scenario. The loan interest is 0% and if you simply close the right for every right operating costs payment you will have zero expenses. Actually the coaster only has to be open for a short amount of time when it needs to depart a station, so you only have to do this twice every 1820 in game years, which is about 69 days. In between that it can just be closed and have no operating costs, as long as you're careful to not double close it and ruin everything. Due to some underflow glitch in version 0.4.5 of OpenRCT2, this ride got an operating cost of over 65,000 euros per hour. So for every payment you accidentally make, you're set back over 18 million in-game years. You also have to hire a mechanic every now and then to have the ride fixed when it breaks down and fire him again before the payday arrives. We can now calculate how long this scenario will take to complete. You can sell the massive coaster for 2.9 million euros, so you only need to make a little under 212 million to get out of debt instead of 214.7 million. Dividing this by 0.02197 cents per year, we get a total completion time of nearly a trillion in-game years, which is just over 100 million actual years. While the 55,000 years of the previous scenario takes you back to the last ice age, this one takes you back to the middle of the reign of the dinosaurs. You will get about 346 guests per year in this scenario when all the rides are closed, so in total you will have about 333 trillion guests enter your park, which is more than 40,000 times the world population. I got a lot of comments last week about simply having the money underflow so that you end up at plus 214 million dollars. I tested this in RCT2 Vanilla and my game crashed as soon as it tried to spend money while at the minimum. In Classic it does work and I got obscenely rich. However, you can only play this scenario in OpenRCT2 which does have underflow protection, so that won't work. Not that that matters as you can only play it in recent versions, which have a much lower minimum of about minus 9 quintillion euros. Even with 65,000 mechanics it would take more than twice as long to get to that minimum as it does to get out of debt by selling ride tickets. One downside is that you can simply speed up this scenario as you only need to perform two actions every 1820 in-game years. However, even if you speed it up a thousand times, which is about the maximum I can achieve, it would still take about 100,000 years to complete, nearly twice as long as the previous scenario. To see how that one works, you can click right here to watch its video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.